So this is what we looking like when we pulled up. Oh, beautiful. This little. Oh, I love that. Y'all, that's so much better. <laughs> that is so much better. Hello, you guys. Simply CC here, and welcome back to my channel. You guys, we are back for another sister like update, and I'm super excited because we do have some updates to share with you guys, and they seem to be your absolute favorite videos that I put out. So, be before we jump into the video, if you are new, hello, my name is CC, and welcome to my channel. And here on my channel, I like to focus on faith, fashion, fitness, and some beauty. And I'm also documenting my sister like journey. Um, and why you haven't seen the other ones? Don't even worry about it. But anyway, it's coming. But if you are here for the first time and you enjoy yourself, you enjoy my vibe, you find the content helpful, please be sure to subscribe. You guys, it is free and it helps me a ton. We have just surpassed 7,000 subscribers and I, I honestly can't believe it. It's a little surreal and it's all because of you guys. And I truly, truly appreciate every one of you who do subscribe and like the video, you guys, if you do enjoy it. Be sure to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. My upload day currently is every Sunday. And I'm not going to lie, it's somewhere between 3 to 5 p.m. Because, but I've been getting them out, even though they're late. Because I used to not put the videos out if it was going to be later than 3. Because if you know, that was my time. But I told myself, no more excuses, just get the video done and get it out. So if you are interested in my content and you're trying to figure out if you want to come, come back here every Sunday, you guys. It'll always be a new video every week. So... Uh, without further ado, let's jump right into this sister lock update. Okay, you guys, update time. I got my hair pulled up because I'm not going to lie, you guys, I'm just simply feeling my hair. I think it's absolutely beautiful. It, we, we, we're giving length. I just uploaded um, a video, probably a couple of videos ago with me doing my first trim. I just did my retie, of course, and so I feel like I need to trim a little bit, but it's not bad. Like, I got this one that's kind of like, ah, I want to get rid of it, but it's like, it's not really bad. Let's see. Let's look at it from the back together, you guys. And I got it pinned up because, like I said, I'm feeling myself. So, it still looks relatively uniform. So, no need to do anything there. Um, you guys, today, well, this... um. This uh, update is a little nostalgic. If you've been watching me for a long time, you've seen that I did something similar to my locks before, years ago, before, you know, probably in the first year of my lock journey, to be honest. And um, we are not going to dwell on the edges, but we're going to just take a look around. I was a lot more, and I will put a clip in. I'll make sure to add it. We did not have all of this going on. So, you honey... Your girl's edges are just thriving. We we are calling them thriving edges. Um, and I'm so, so very proud of my hair. It is truly impressing even me. And it is healing itself. You know, with the trauma that I've done to it, of course, not really knowing that I was doing it, but the trauma and my ability, you know, all of our abilities to heal. My hair is healing itself to the best of its ability. And I'm proud of it. I could nitpick, but you know what? I don't even want to. I don't have anything to complain about um so we come in a little closer and i would make sure to get the 360 view so i can show you the locks so we're gonna go in first and just look at everything so on my last video you guys i re retwisted my hairline today all of this is interlocked except for these two they are also done in a retwist now what we're doing with our hair is um we are letting it continue to grow. It's growing in a lot. So what is happening? It's not too bad up here because they weren't very big, but these parts are getting a little bigger. If you look at the row right behind it and you look at this tiny square compared to this one, it's almost twice the size. And that is not because she didn't make them the right size. It's because this hairline has grown in and I've just been interlocking the hair as it gets longer into it. 
but you, it's making them a little bit bigger. Like over here, this one is, is large, large for sister locks. Now, do I care though? No, because I know my hair's history and I'm just proud that the hair is there where it used to be really, really scalpy. So it's not a big deal, but what I'm doing with the retwist on this, because if you look at this, these were always, this side is not my as bad side, the other side is, but this square, if you look at the, you know, like the diameter of the square, it's not large, but again, compared to the ones behind it, like this sister lock and the size of it, you can tell that it's it's relatively smaller. So what I'm I'm trying to decide if we should interlock this hair eventually or if I should try to start another row of mini locks basically um, in the front, especially here. Now over here, you guys, first off, round of applause for her. And if you didn't clap, that's because you don't know. But if you don't know, I'm going to tell you why we clapping. Because, baby, this is the one I cut off, y'all. And this was the one that I reattached twice, well, three times, actually. Um, I shared a little bit in my last video about how I felt. When I first reattached it, I did use nail glue. And it was hard. Y'all, now it just feels like a regular lock. And it is not going anywhere. It's it's so solid and i just retwisted it because this original square was right here you guys this hair all of this hair in front of my nail on this side was not in that lock it started back here this hair wasn't long enough to go in there now we could tell it's growing so we're gonna celebrate her number one she survived we figured out how to put her back on and two it's growing so just like that one my hair is still extremely fine. As you can watch this whole, and in between here, y'all, it's a bald spot. If you watch my little edge video, we talked about it. But we that's a thing in the past. We ain't dwelling there. But we talked about it because now we can, we can continue on my journey together since y'all joining me here. So the only thing is I think it'll have to stay like this. But again, if you look at the size of this square, it's huge. Now... But the size of the lock is very small. It's, it's bigger than these because you can see these fresh ones. Like you can see how small these parts are. But with its current, with its history and its situation, do I feel like I should try to make this hair turn into a lock and then deal with the, the very, very uh, thin spot? I don't know. So since I'm undecided, uh, and I'm undecided, that's why I'm just doing retwist on them. The interlocking is way more harder to get the hair out. If I decide that I want to start new locks um, on the fronts of these, um, I don't want to have to like yank it out of an interlock, okay? If I retwist it, it's going to be a lot easier for me to pull that hair out and separate it. That's my theory. I do do traditional locks. I don't do sister locks as a profession. This only sister locks I do is mine, y'all. And I'm learning as we go, but we're not doing too bad. Uh, we've been doing really great. So these have been retwisted and I've been enjoying that because number one, it keeps the tension extremely low because interlocking, although it lasts a lot longer, it creates more tension. I've learned on my journey, be very, very careful if you're interlocking and retying your own hair because you can accidentally make it way too tight and you can't, it's not easy to go in and release that tension. You know, like you can retwist, you know, this too tight. But once you release that clip, it's going to release. Like, so to me, since my edges are, well, we're going to say they're healing, but they are fragile. I'm going to stick with the retwist just on these until I decide what I want to do with them. It allows the hair to con continue to grow. Um, I believe my hair grows a lot better when it's clumped together. I think my edges do a lot better. The more hair I can get to stay in the lock, I feel like truly it is it's surviving a bit more. Like I think what it grew together, it protects itself. I don't know if that makes sense, but that's what I believe because I've done this before, like pulled this hair and got it in there and interlocked it, but it was too tight and I believe it broke it again. So we're not doing that. These, my edges, they're just too fragile for that type of tension. So I'm not going to put it through that trauma again. It's, it's healing itself and recovering the best it can. I do not want to test it. So I'm just being very gentle with it. But I just want to give y'all that update, you know, but honestly to the naked eye, who knows? So that's the beautiful thing about locks and the beautiful thing about it just being my hair. I don't know if people say it's wrong and it doesn't matter, but 
when it's your hair, you do what works for you. And I'll say this because I'm happy that I do my own. And the reason why I do my own hair is probably big part is because I'm a hairstylist, but a part of it is because I know how I want my hair to look. And even though this scalpy, the the little baby hairs, and y'all, we did soft baby hairs today. Y'all ain't know, y'all ain't know we did a little shot. But anyway, but like the parting, this is my favorite look. A fresh retie is awesome to me. Some people are gonna hate the fact that this lock is so big. And I understand that, but for me, I don't care because it's my hair and I know all I want, I don't want a bunch of fro in the front, you know, I want all my hair to lock. So when I took on doing my hair, I, I was already looking at things that I knew I wasn't a big fan of. I didn't like all the frizz. Uh, I hear it's normal. Um, I still see people with sister locks when I walk out and their hair is still very frizzy. I honestly feel like that's how they're mostly supposed to look. I feel like that's why people think my hair is micro locks and not sister locks. Because to me, when I look at it, they're smaller than most micro locks I see. Like, uh, if you don't look at the hairline, and I'm going to show you guys. Y'all see in the middle, these are, they're very small. Like, micro locks aren't typically this, this small from the ones I see. They're more like how my hairline is looking. Just from the ones I've seen. It could be some that are really tiny, like sister locks. And I've had people say, mine's are big for sister locks. Um, I think big is a little bit of an exaggeration, but now that I've looked at a lot of sister locks, I understand why ma'am would say mine's are big because I only have 300. I remember looking at one sister lock video years ago after I started mine's and she had like 500 sister locks. And that's when I was like, oh my God, maybe I didn't get enough and I don't know, maybe I should hurry up and start them over. But you guys, I'm happy because I've also seen issues that come with having them so small. I've seen people who, on, who start a journey where you have them break off. Just things that happen. And that's just life. You're going to have some people who started their sister locks with 500 and they got all 500 still. You know, they might even have more because their hair grew in. So it's not to say that something bad is going to happen because they're small. Clearly, that's not. I can't say that. That's not true. But I'm, I've learned to be just satisfied with what mine look like. But let's get on into it. So the other thing I learned, I got this new tool, you guys. This is called Curve Interlocking Tool. It came with two. They look like, I'm trying to get them so y'all can see. They look like this. You got one that is a little bit longer, one that's a little shorter. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Y'all, this bottom one right here, let me, let me get it. Oh, it's focusing on me. The bottom one right here, this bigger one, I broke it, okay? And how I broke it, it comes more open. If you look at this, see how it's kind of pinched at the top? So I did that myself, but on this one, I pinched it too hard and I literally broke it. So I ordered them again. But you guys, what I will say, after pinching it, I love this tool. Now, typically, let me pull that out. I didn't get it ready. I typically interlock with this tool, which has been my babe since day one. Now it's more curved. I bent it because I found that I like it, but it wasn't this curved. Like if you look at these two compared, you could see how curved that one is compared to the other one. Yeah. I literally just bent it some more because I've um I've learned this helps me without. I was copying this tool because I broke it. If you see how the curves are similar. Um, what I've learned with these, and I will link these tools um, down below. That curve really helps me to avoid interlocking. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty good, but interlocking locks together. I'm pretty good now because I've been doing it for two years, but it was even easier. The only thing was this opening was, what did I do with the other one? I don't know. But what I was trying to say is the opening to these weren't pinched like that. They were a lot wider. And why I uh, pinched them is because with this one, it goes narrow like that. It's pinched naturally. That's how it comes if you use these tools. I got them off Amazon. I also got these. These are uh, from the Lock Sanity too. I should like, put that out there for you guys. It's from Lock Sanity. Um, and so, and I think, I believe, now I could be wrong. I felt like, no, it might have been Nappy Roots that made this tiny, tiny tool. But that's just too little. I have bigger hands, and so that was small. But it's great for, like, really, really short locks. Like, when I had, when this one, hold on, let me see. 
when this one was a lot shorter, because I started this one myself. I don't know how. I just made a knot and it's been growing. But it used to be really short. So my bigger tool, it was too big. But I love the curve tool. I like these a lot. I did order them again. I want to say they were only like $12. I just ordered another one since I broke it. Fan fact. On the back of this, um, you can't really see it, but you'll see these, uh, it looks like clocks, but they're compasses, basically. No, they look like a clock. They're like clocks. You guys, I am on a four-point rotation, and I do my four-point rotation exactly like they say to do it. And um, I just wanted to point that out because a lot of times, you know, like I said, I have fear about it, and I, I demonstrated my four-point rotation. I put a little snippet of the video up here for you guys. Um, on how I did it. I slowed it down so you guys could catch it and understand it. And I was just guessing based off of people I watched do two-point rotation. I've never watched someone actually do four-point, but my uh, sister like consultant who started mine told me I was on four-point rotation. If you've been here, you already know this. So I went back to that because it just made sense. She said my locks will get weaker over time. And I will admit when I was doing the two-point for a little bit, I didn't do it that long, it felt a little bit thinner where that two-point was. And so that worried me because I didn't want my locks to be, you know, thicker. When you look at them up close, let me just pull one out. I'm going to pull out this one. Let me pull one out. The consistency of the lock is what I want. You know, like, it's going to have some uh, inconsistencies, of course, because it's locks. But... Um, even when I retie, like right here at the base, like it's, it's so good. And of course it's going to always look a little bit thinner. That's normal when you retie it because that hair isn't yet locked. So if you understand locks is, is really your shedded hair. Cause our hair naturally sheds, you know, like normal, we don't see it cause it, it locks into there, but that's what helped the hair lock. And that's what causes them to bud and get a little thicker. You know, that's why so in the beginning, we kind of flow everywhere. We just float in and we get some weight, even though they're lightweight, because my hair is still extremely lightweight. Like, I only feel them when I have to shampoo them. And that's still not bad. They're not like pulling at my scalp. So you need the lock hair to get a little bit of the bulk in this. So at the, you know, like, so when you retie or retwist, this little piece sticking up, can't you can't stay like that. It's going to irritate me. Um... It's going to be a little thinner because that hair is not locked. That's freshly retied hair. The shedded hair is going to get in there and make it match the rest. So I wanted consistency and I didn't like that it felt a little thinner. So I went to four point rotation. But what I was saying is it's crazy that I'm I'm genuinely, I'm honestly self-taught apart from YouTube University as someone called it. YouTube University taught me and I did it myself. And the fact that I did it the way that they demonstrate, super cool. And it is a confidence booster because... I'm not gonna lie, sometimes I just don't know. <laughs> I, I just don't know. Um, so, and it has all kinds of things on here. It says the most common pattern is pattern four, and that is suggested for tightly curled hair, um, which would be me. I have a it's fine, but my curl is really tight. I got a lot of shrinkage. And it says pattern three is recommended for looser curled hair. The least used pattern is pattern four reverse, which is used. For locks that are prone to slippage and unraveling so i don't know oh they have the numbers y'all this is cool so if you ever want to um i'm gonna make sure i link this like my hair slipped a lot i wish i knew this because then i could have followed these patterns to help it stay so it is like a good way to learn patterns but i will link it down below i got it from amazon 12 dollars even if you just want to like if you're a person that you're trying to learn how to do some type of maintenance you maybe you don't need the whole thing yourself, but this will probably be a good tool to have and a good, sorry if y'all hear my garage, but a good thing to teach, to be kind of taught on. So anyway, that is that. Um, like I said, she stayed well. The hairline looks pretty good. Y'all know, if you know, you know, I am so proud of this. I'm so proud of this, you guys. And I will also say from the last video, thank you guys so much for the support. I was so nervous about putting the video out when it was well, talking about my edges, where I was I was definitely ranting, I was definitely irritated, I was definitely a little angry, I was definitely a little offended. And so sometimes those aren't the best emotions to drive you. Um, but I was at a place where 
I had actually never talked about it and I had the courage to say something. You know, I sit in this place where it's really nobody's business and some people say like, it doesn't matter. It really isn't anyone's business what has happened to my hairline, what I've done to it. It's really no one's business what I do to my hair, what I do to my locks, how I retighten them, whatever I want to do. I can do whatever I want because it's my hair. I'm sharing my journey with you. I'm not asking for people to tell me how to do my own hair journey. I'm sharing it because it's a journey. And even though it's challenging at times, even though I can be discouraged, even though I've had doubts, if you have locks, you may know that. Sister locks, Marco locks, any locks, you may know that. I've started so many people's locks and they don't stick to it. The journey, or they have to start them multiple times. My mom is one. The first time we started a lock, she didn't want to keep them. She didn't like it. The second time we started them, now she has them. She loves them. And she'll say things like, I wish I kept them the first time. But the journey is on your own time. And, no, you know, I could breathe down her throat like, why would you take your lock up? But the reality is she has to go with what feels really good for her. And so I share that because it is helpful. And it is like a transparent um experience for me i don't know how to hide anything about it because it's new it's not new anymore but it was new and i guess it still is like even though i've had my locks for three years i still feel like they're evolving and becoming something else as they grow they take on a different look when they were short they had more of this curly look and at first i missed it and then, you know, I hated it straight and I wanted it always with texture. Now I like them even straight. Like this is just fine with me. So it's so, the journey is just ongoing. And so I try to share that because that's just what I want to do. But I decided to do the rant video. I, I'll call it that because I also have a right to be frustrated. Um, I have a right to be offended and to be angry or, um, you know, like hurt a little bit too, because, you know, typically the emotion of anger covers hurt. And so I was, I was very frustrated. Sometimes these comments, when they are negative, you can, if we're not strong and we're not anchored well, I am. So I may not budge or, you know, break, but I do bend. And so sometimes the pressure gets a little bit much and you have to kind of like, I don't want to say clap back, but you have to defend yourself too. Because the thing is, the honest truth is, who cares about the negative comments? If we're honest, if I'm just be honest. It's not that big of a deal. And if you say you should just ignore them, you're probably right in some extent. I totally get it. But since I have a YouTube channel, I wanted to have a video to refer people to because as I grow, people may comment on it a lot more often. Now, if I'm honest, as we grow in, some people may come on my channel and never know. I know there's already people that are on my channel that don't know where we started. It's some of y'all that comment and I thank y'all so much. And I am falling in love with you guys because you're like, I've been with you since the beginning. Your edges are like, you know, when you know, you know. So I know some people jump on the journey a little late, but at least if people want to, they'll see a, a chance. Like if you get on my channel now, it'll be a video about my edges and about my hairline. And then it can just eliminate all the questions, all the wonder, all the curiosity. So I did it more for that reason, because it was like, if you don't deal with it, you're probably going to keep getting these comments because that's what happened. It wasn't like the comments came off of like one video, you guys. It came off of multiple videos because I've been documenting my journey for three years. And I'm honestly, until I did a video, I just really didn't acknowledge it, right? Like, I just was like, whatever. I did exactly what you guys are probably saying. Just ignore it. I was. But it doesn't mean that when I read it, it doesn't do something to me. It doesn't prick me a little bit. It doesn't make me be a little hurt. It doesn't make me have a little bit of doubt. It doesn't make me think maybe I shouldn't have locks, you know, because my hairline is such a big deal and maybe it looks really, really bad. And some comments are like, I, I think they're trying to be helpful. I think they're... And then it's something that you're like, I think, I think you're trying to be a jerk. You know, I think you're trying to be funny and either or is just, we have to just deal with our approach. So I really just did the video so that if anyone ever have questions, it's always gonna be this video about my edges. Right. And then it's like, it's there, it's out there. I've expressed it. I told my history. So that's why I did it. If it bothers some of you guys, y'all like, I don't like you like that. Don't worry. That is not me every day. And it felt like the right thing to do, but I was nervous, I'm not gonna lie, I was extremely scared to put that video out there. 
because I didn't know. Like, I try to stay very, very positive. And even in that, I want to stay positive, but I'm human, you guys. I'm a Christian. I will not sin. I'm not going to cuss nobody out. I'm not going to do anything crazy like that. I, I do those things not because it's just the Christian thing to do, because Christians can't cuss people out, you know, and I don't think they're any less Christian. I don't want to do it because my, my father in heaven wouldn't be proud of me with that. So that was the most I could do with my emotions and stay within. And if I'm honest, you guys, a lot of that video I didn't even put out there because it was just me going, I was going, hell. And I was like, okay, we got to, that's not going in there. But anyway, the biggest thing I want to say is thank you guys so much for your support on that video. Thank you for your support anyway. You guys are freaking amazing. And you guys have um really helped me with my confidence my locks were one i've never and i've said to you i've never ever felt this beautiful and i've never felt this beautiful and um with my hair and it's so funny that the thing that makes me feel the most beautiful at the beginning made me feel the most insecure and <laughs> i don't want to get emotional but it's like bringing that full circle to where i am today where it was times I wanted to quit this journey. Um, ugh, I don't want to cry. It was times I wanted to cut my hair off. Even when I did that rant video, you guys, the comments, it was like, I don't even know what it was. And I, I think because it doesn't matter. But the last comment I saw, I don't remember what it said, but it was the one, it was the straw that broke the camel's back. Because I thought about cutting them off again. And I, if I don't be honest on this channel, what am I doing it for? You know, I can pretend that I don't see them. I can pretend that I haven't been self-conscious about my edges. I, part of me, if we're honest, I probably put them out there because I already knew it was going to be something you guys would never miss. Um, and even though I acknowledge them and address them even before, I, uh, when I started out and I was just vlogging at home with my baby, I talked about them then before I was locked because, you know, you ever know that thing where you're insecure about, you get on yourself about it before someone else can. And deep down, I probably was doing that. But another side knows genuinely is because I know I'm not the only woman with this problem. Like I said, it runs in my family. And I shared all that. So, and as a hairstylist dealing with clients with alopecia, tension alopecia, it's very sensitive. And our, our hair is our crown. And if you don't understand how important a crown is, God refers to our hair as a crown. So, it is natural. And people will say things like, it's just hair. It's not just hair, okay? It is our crown, and that's what the Bible, that's what God told us it was. And it's important. Crowns are symbolized things. They don't, they're not to be forgotten. Royalty wears crowns. This is our crown as women, as people. And it's so important that God knows the numbers of hairs we have on our head. So I had to learn that through God to not feel like the world make you feel like, oh, you're shallow or you're this or you're that because people care about the hair or when people want to wear weave and they're like, you don't love yourself. A lot of times like our crowns can make us very insecure and minds have made me that way. And so when I felt like I was getting attacked, I felt like people were so nonchalant and just very, very wrong about their assumptions. I felt like I had a right to defend my crown. You know, this isn't something you can just insult or mistreat or be very nonchalant with it's very personal to us as people this is why you have weaves and man weaves and hair extensions men and women alike we feel some kind of way when our hair doesn't look a certain way some people don't have that issue and that's wonderful but it's very very normal to feel a certain way about your hair or even when i was watching the women like ranting about their locks and not liking their partings and things i understand as a hairstylist even god had to teach me what I do was important because I used to be like, oh, I just do hair. And I used to ask this question, like, why do I get to do this and make money? Like, it's, it's so simple. I'm not saving, you know, I'm not, I'm not saving lives or, you know, performing heart surgery. But God told me, like, it's a gift. And he anointed us not just to do it, not giving us the talent to do it and learn, but it's a science to it. You know, our hair is a living organism like it lives it it needs things it, it it needs food it needs you know it needs to be our body feeds our hair that's how it grows so and when our body is sick when something's going on with it our hair is affected it's not apart from anything in our bodies so when you understand that you can stop 
maybe targeting people who have edge problems or hair problems or whatever and understand that it's important. You know, just like you wouldn't pick at someone with a, if they were in a wheelchair or if they had any type of ailment, you wouldn't laugh at someone with COVID or you wouldn't be like, girl, you got that because uh, you're going to be like, get better. I hope you get better. Like that is the type of energy we have when we find out someone is sick or something is hurt. Sometimes when people have scars, you know, like just like injuries, this is an injury. Yes, I've done it to myself, but it's an injury. And that's why even in this video, it was one of those things like I, I'm watching my hair heal. It's doing something I didn't think it would do. I didn't know that it could even heal to this extent, you know, because it lives and it does try to just like if I cut my finger, it tries to like, um, uh, rebuild and reconstruct itself. Like that's what God made it to do. So when people t like basically point at my scars or my injuries and say it's because of something and it's wrong, it's like if I walk around with a twisted ankle and they say, girl, that's good. You give it, you know, jumping off stairs. You be like, I didn't jump off no stairs. Why are you saying that? That's not what happened. It's the same thing. I hope that makes sense. So all I wanted to say was I, I appreciate the support and I, I have a right to be, to feel some kind of way about it. And there's nothing wrong with that. If people are willing to come to my channel because I want to be vulnerable and share my truth, my honesty, to share my insecurities, to um, go through a journey that I have no clue about, but I just want to go through it and learn. I've learned so much from you guys, truly. And the reality is 95% probably even more. We're, we're not going to say that. 98% of my supporters are amazing. You know, like it was literally probably, I'm like 0.5% that probably even made a comment about my edges that really kind of got to me. Right. And it's like, I want to say that that's little, but words hurt you guys. <laughs> even biblical um, words, they can breathe life or death. Like you can destroy someone's whole journey. You can destroy someone's confidence with negative words. So I feel like if we know that that's true, we don't get we don't get upset or we don't feel like it's not proper or actually expected that you, someone would finally say something if you're hurting them. It's just like if if somebody's picking at your kid at school and they keep pushing them, you're going to tell them one day, push them back. That's what we're going to say as parents. I know I told them my daughter, if somebody push you, you push back with everything you got so they quit messing with you. And it's kind of the same thing with words. Words do hurt. They, they do leave scars. It's people who have scars to this day from what someone said. So me, yeah, I had to. And I realized even when I'm ranting, I'm trying to cut this short, but I guess I'm supposed to say these things. And it may be two videos, whatever. But when we don't look at a situation for what it is, you have to be careful. It's just like, I know that if I'm carrying a gun and just shoot wildly, I can probably hit somebody with a bullet and cause damage or kill someone. You have to understand that when you shoot your words wildly, you can really cause damage or you can kill someone. And it's literally the same thing. People deal with words. Words are not easily forgotten. They come out in a second, but you can't take them back. And the scar that they leave them, internal wounds, are the hardest to treat because they hide so well. And I am a woman who has struggled with confidence, my self-esteem, self-love, um, believing I'm beautiful, believing I'm worthy, believing I'm capable, to knowing that I am beautiful, knowing that I am worthy, knowing that I am capable, that I'm cherished, and that I matter to, I will never go back to letting people say things to me that hurt me with no response. I have that right. I'm not going to chase these things. Like I said, I'm not, that's not what my channel's about, but everybody has a right to defend themselves and defending yourself against words is the same as defending yourself against a bodily attack. In my mind, since I was, I was almost scared to silence. And I'm like, no, I'll never be silenced again. I have a right to express it. Just like people have a right to comment and I can address them and I won't. But I always, like I said, like Drake said, I don't want to hear about this ever again. <laughs> but anyway, that was the point of the video. So I hope that that makes sense, you guys. And I hope that you can vibe with me and you understand what I was saying and doing because being on the platform, God has been preparing me for it. 
and it's not always easy you guys it's not always easy doing youtube i just y'all gave me this space and i'm learning how to maneuver it okay y'all gave me this tiny step that i get to stand on because <laughs> i ain't gonna call it a platform yet <laughs> But I got this little step that uh, y'all have allowed me to stand on and y'all listen and y'all hear me and y'all see me. Um, that is beautiful. And some of the comments where people like, I usually don't comment. And the comments where people are also self-conscious, I feel like I had to do it for y'all too. Because instead of speaking up for ourselves, sometimes we know the damage is bad, right? When we, we're we talking about edges, we know the damage is bad. We know what we did to ourselves. We know that... It may not recover. We know what it looks like. We know it looks crazy sometimes. And we're very insecure about it. But sometimes we feel like because we did it to ourselves, we don't have a right to say anything about it. It's our fault. You know, we shouldn't have did it. Like, and we'll tell ourselves that. But the reality is, no matter what happened, no matter what mistakes we make, it doesn't mean that, oh, I just had it. Help me, Holy Spirit. What was it? It doesn't mean that People don't need to know how it makes us feel, though, when they address it. The hair industry is like a billion dollar industry, and it would not be that if hair is not a sensitive thing for people. A constant, it's tons of videos on YouTube where people are doing healthy hair journeys, healthy hair this, healthy hair life. Everybody's trying to heal their hair the best way they can, and it can be the most beautiful. And that is just normal. That's why products are going crazy. It's, it's important. And it's not shallow. It's not insecurities. It's, it's, it's love. If you take care of your hair, you love yourself. If you care about your hair, it's because you love yourself. You know what I mean? Like, we care about all of ourselves. So that's all I want to share on that note. You guys, I'm going to get off of here because I'm rambling for a really, really long time. But y'all stay blessed, stay motivated, and always stay close to God. Remember that God doesn't want to trick you. He never wants to hurt you guys. And he loves you and he cares for you. And I will talk to y'all in the next one. Bye, you guys.